sincere affection and fondness? I have. You've been both sweet and noble. Thank you. <coughs> Having that said, I hope you realize how difficult this next sentence is for me to say. I would rather die myself than be the cause of your unhappiness by standing in the way of your future with the man you truly love. Oh, Prince Humperdinck, the wedding is off. Thank you. I will bless you all of my days for your kindness. So it is settled. Except for one thing. That being? Have you considered it possible that he may no longer wish to marry? You were, I hate to remind you, not altogether too gentle with his emotions in the fire swamp. This Wesley, this sailor, he has pride. More than any man alive, I sometimes think. Well, consider then, dearest. Your love has had a great deal of time to survive the emotional scars you've dealt with. What if he chooses now to remain single? Or even worse, what if he has found another? I pray it isn't so. But it could be. And in that case, I think it best if we strike a bargain, you and I. If Wesley wishes to return, then bless you both. If for reasons too 